Okay, we've scripted the you win, now we have to do the game over. And that all starts with a custom function, and then what we're going to do is we're going to call that custom function. So I'm just going to find some area down here right above my U in, and I'm going to create a custom function. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to right click, add custom function, or sorry, custom event, add custom event, and I'm just going to call this uh, client game over. Okay, client game over. And this is when my client gets destroyed and uh, they did not win the game. Definitely, it's just going to say game over. So inside there, I'm going to uh, select this and make sure that this is running on the owning client. Very important there. And we can make that reliable. And off of here, we're just going to script because this is the only custom event we'll be making for this. I'm just going to. Uh, drag off of here and start scripting and this is we're going to create the widget so this is actually going to show the game over widget on the player when they get destroyed it's going to show it on their screen and only the player that gets destroyed not on every player's screen so create widget we're going to put in there and do you know what widget we're going to have in here yeah that's right we're going to have the uh game over widget there it is and do you remember what we do every time we are done creating our widget yeah, that's right. We have to uh, add to viewport. You can drag off either one. If you drag off this bottom pin, the return value pin, it will actually connect up both of them. So I can say add to viewport. There it is. And watch this. It connects the, ex the execution pin and my return value pin. Perfect. All right. So now that we have that f uh, custom event running and adding our game over UI to the viewport, we have to actually call this somehow. And uh, just to let you know, this gets called off of our event any damage. So right here, we're actually uh, taking away, if the player receives any damage, it's taking away their health. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to test their health with a branch statement, and if their health is zero, well, we want to do a couple things. We want to, uh, first, we want to show the game over UI, and then we also want to destroy the, we want to destroy the player, okay? And also update how many players are alive in the game. So that's three kind of things that we do. So I'm just going to come over here. Remember, it's find your event any damage. You're going all the way to the end where you set the health. And off of there, we're going to just branch. So I'm just going to drag off of here. I'm going to say uh, branch. Branch is great for testing conditions. I can't say that enough. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to drag off of here. And we're going to say less than or equal to. And we're looking for, actually, for this one, we're looking for a float because the current health is a float. Remember, that's a health bar. A health bar is a float, okay? It uses floats. It uses percentages. So I'm just going to drag off of there. Um, and I'm going to connect this to the top one here. Boom. And we want to leave zero in there. So it's testing the condition. If current health is less than or equal to zero, well, we want to do something with the true or the false. So uh, for the true, let's go ahead and drag off. And we're going to do a sequence. We're going to say um, sequence. And we're not going to do anything for the false. We're just going to do uh, the true. So if the true kicks off, then we want to do a sequence. We want to do some things here. On the top one, we're going to call the uh, client game over. So I can just drag that off. And I can say client game over. Boom. So that will show the game over UI on the screen. Perfect. That is taken care of. That's all I have to do. Uh oh, I'm running out of room here. So I may want to zoom out and just move this over a bit. There we go. And zoom back in. Now off the then, so that was then zero. This is then one. I'm just going to drag off of this one. And I want to destroy the actor. So if their health is zero, well, I don't want them to appear in the game anymore. So I'm just going to say destroy. And uh, we'll just go under utilities. And I don't know if you guys can see this down here. It's destroy actor. Okay, destroy actor. And it should say target is actor. Off of that, I need to do some casting. Okay, I need access to that update players alive. And do you remember where that is? Yeah, that's in your game state. So we need to get to that game state somehow. So I can just right click and I'm going to say uh, get game state. Um, let me see if I can uh, state so you can see it right there. There it is. Get game state. And uh, the game state that we want to cast to. So we say cast to and it's my game state, not the generic one. OK, that's just the, the parent class. We don't want that. We want the one that we created. And now I'm going to connect these together, the execution pins. I'll connect those together. And off of here, we want to get to the update players alive. So let's let's just uh, drag off the as my game state output pin right here. And that'll connect up both uh, the execution pin and the as my game state pin. So I'm just going to type in uh, update 
players alive. So I, all I had to do was type in update, update players alive. Boom. Just like that. All right. So, uh, that's really all I should have to do. And now I'm just going to compile, save, and in the next video, I'm going to test it out. So, uh, go ahead, get that done and, uh, we'll test it out to see if this is all working properly. Okay. So I should be able to just use one of my clients or use my server and win the game. And it should show up on that player that they won the game and the other players as I, uh, destroy them. Um, it should say game over. All right. So go ahead, have some fun. Don't forget to save all and I'll see you guys in just a second.